Hello, this is my final presentation for Intro to Cinema. Today I'm going to be analyzing the film Rushmore. The movie tells the story of an ambitious, insecure 15-year-old Max Fisher, a student at Rushmore Academy, who spends way too much time on extracurricular activities, but little on schoolwork. The plot develops after Max is motivated by Mr. Bloom's speech. Mr. Bloom encourages Max and becomes his mentor. Mr. Bloom and Max share the same love interest, first grade teacher Rosemary. This creates conflict within their relationship. Created by Wes Anderson, Rushmore was filmed primarily with a wide angle lens. Anderson is known for adapting the French New Wave techniques not only in Rushmore, but all of his films. Anderson uses a heavy filter with colors and saturation and light to set a tone for his, his setting. The inside of the school, Rushmore, for example, was shown with a bright colors. Outside shots were done with a darker color. Cleveland High School was also dark and depressing. In addition to the use of colors and lights, the unsteady camera work was used to portray chaos within Cleveland High School. Precise shots were used when filming at Rushmore Academy, giving the impression that Max was in control. Another technique used by Anderson similar to the French New Wave is to use the continuous shot. One example of this is that the chapel scene, Max Max and Mr. Bloom are seen talking within the frame. One exits. Rather than cutting to a different angle, the scene continues at the same shot. Camera angles are important throughout this film. One example is the bleacher scene. The position of Max being higher on the bleachers than Rosemary is significant. This scene montage editing. Anderson creates montages in this film with wide-angle lenses, medium, close-ups, and slow motion. Symmetry is another technique that is used within this film. The final technique I am going to mention is Anderson's use of soundtrack. Used to help shape the environment and the mood, certain songs are chosen for their lyrics to portray and describe emotions or contrasts which is being shown. Mr. Bloom in the party scene feels isolated and sad. In contrast to, this, to his emotions, the song Nothing in the World Worrying About by the Kinks is playing. Within Rushmore, we see mostly non-diegetic sounds, and it is used to portray an inner feeling for the character or a Rushmore is a typical story of coming to age. Anderson uses sound, light, camera angles to help bring to life the characters we can relate to. I would highly recommend seeing this film and hopefully you will be able to enjoy it as much as I have. That would be the end of my analyzing of Rushmore. Thank you for listening.